Example 23, solve the linear system of inequalities and give one example of a solution and one example of a non-solution. So first we have to get both of the inequalities in slope-intercept form. So I'm rewriting the first inequality, 7x plus 5y is greater than or equal to negative 25. Subtract 7x on both sides. So I have 5y is greater than or equal to negative 7x minus 25. To get y by itself, divide everything by 5. So I have y is greater than or equal to negative 7 fifths x. And then negative 25 divided by 5 is negative 5. I do the same thing with the bottom equation. So I have 7x plus 5y is less than or equal to 20, subtract 7x on both sides. So I have 5y is less than or equal to negative 7x plus 20. To get y by itself, divide everything by 5. So y is less than or equal to negative 7 fifths x plus 4. All right, so now to actually graph, I have to figure out my slope and my y-intercept. My slope of the green line is negative 7 fifths, and my y-intercept is negative 5. So I start my graph at negative 5, and then slope tells me to go down 7 to the right 5. All right, and then to extend the line, I go up 7 to the left 5. All right, and then I have to draw my line. Since this is greater than or equal to, I know my solution will be on the, part of my solution will be on the line, so I know I have a solid line. Okay, and now back to the blue line, my slope here is negative 7 fifths, my y-intercept is 4, so I start my graph at 4 on the y-axis, and my slope tells me to go down 7 to the right 5. Okay, and then I have to extend my line further, so I'll go up 7 to the left 5. Okay, so I look at my inequality symbol, it's less than or equal to. So I know that I have to have my solution on the line, part of my solution on the line, so it's a solid line that I'm going to draw. Okay, so now to do the shading, I'm testing, I'm starting with the green line, I'm testing the origin, the zero, zero point, to see if I shade above the green line or below the green line. So I'm testing zero, is zero, zero a solution? So I have zero is greater than negative seven fifths times zero minus five. Zero is greater than seven fifths times zero is zero. Zero minus five is negative five. 0 is greater than negative 5, which is true, so I have to shade everything above the green line. So everything that includes that 0, 0 point.
Okay, I do the same thing with the blue line. So I test the origin, test the zero, zero point. So I have zero is less than or equal to seven fifth, negative seven fifth times zero plus four. Zero is less than or equal to zero plus four is four. Zero is less than four, so this also is true. So everything below the blue line, so which includes the origin, is to be shaded. Alright, so a solution to this system is everything in this dark blue area is a solution. So for example, a solution could be negative 3, 4. So all of this is a solution. Everything else, oh, including the lines also. Um, everything else is not a solution. So everything in pink is not a solution. Everything in blue, in the light blue is not a solution. So I could pick really any point to show an example of a non-solution. So 6, 10 is not a solution. Again, everything in 